All right, it's October 21st. I'm out here on the Tennessee River on some public land. Shannon and I come in here and scouted it about four days ago, and we found some rubbed, uh, some deer sign, and it's, it's right on the road, like right by the road. Uh, here it is four days later. I'm going back. I think the wind should be okay for it. Uh, it's basically just some thick, swampy stuff. Uh, it's just some opening of hardwoods that go along the edge of it. Uh, so I'm going to try to sneak in here a different way than the way we came in uh, last time. I'm going to hopefully be able to get in here quietly and uh, get set up and see how it goes. So far, at the side of impact, I'm not seeing anything. I don't see any hair, I don't see any blood. Pretty sure this is right where she was standing. But I did see where she ran to. So I think if I, I went up here to this uh, root ball, where she went around that, I should be able to pick up some blood, I hope.
as of right now, things aren't looking too hot. I'm about 20 yards from where I shot and I haven't found a single drop of blood yet. Um, pretty sure the arrow was all the way through, sticking out the off side. Um, man, it, it was just almost out. Like the last time I saw her, it was probably right in here and the arrow looked like it was about to fall out of her. I just, I can't believe that there's not any blood. I'm a little shocked that I haven't seen just a stream of blood right here. But you know, when the arrow was running away, I really didn't see any blood either. I was looking for a spot on her somewhere where I knew the impact was. That's when I saw the arrow. I'm afraid to go too far, but I'm gonna go up another 30 yards and see if I see anything, then I'm gonna back out give it a little more time. Did not exit anyway. Doesn't look too good. Man, I was having my doubts about that one. I was having my doubts about that one. I'm getting really worried. Uh, not a bit of blood, man. I mean, I didn't find a single drop of blood. Literally, I just knew I hit her. Let's see where I hit her at. As a matter of fact, let's check that out. Uh, I thought it went all the way through. I thought I saw my arrow sticking out, but I saw it sticking out of the side that I shot it on. Oh, look at that. Awful high shot. Awful high. But man, it did the trick though, I guess. But she went. I'm gonna say we went 50, well, let's say about 60 yards from where I shot her. About 60 yards. Okay. Not too bad though. I'll take her. Didn't damage any meat that way. Uh, I'm a little surprised I hit her that high. I really thought if anything, I hit her low. But yeah, hit her high on the shoulder. I think I think she had enough time to kind of duck down right before the arrow got there. Man, well, it's high on the shoulder. I guess I'll take it. It killed her. Well, found the deer. Uh, I did make a very high shot. Like if I'd have known that's where I, I hit it to begin with, I probably wouldn't even think there was a chance of recovering her. But she didn't go very far. Like I said, she went 60 yards tops. Um, I think I heard her crash. There was just other deer with her and I couldn't tell if that was her or if it was, uh, you know, if she kept running or if she crashed. Anyway, um, I'm going to get her field dressed and I'm going to kind of look into that, see where that broadhead went. I mean, obviously I must have got along to bring her down that fast. Uh, I just don't know how. I'm thinking it's got more of a downward angle than I, I'm giving it credit for. But I will, uh, I'll field dress it and I'll let you know. But I tried to leave the arrow as it was. Pretty sharp uh, downward angle. And I ended up getting both lungs, from what I can tell. I didn't get heart, but I got both lungs. I think it just had to do with the way that deer was, was facing. It was probably quartering to me a little. Uh, when I shot, you know, she went to, she dropped a little, like right before the arrow got there. And I guess I just got her high. You know, I thought if anything, I shot low, but hit her high, man. You just never know. You know, I just didn't see it hit. And that's what made me concerned. I saw the air sticking out. I thought it went all the way through. I was a little confused because I thought it went all the way through and it was just, I was seeing the broadhead flash. But it was what I was seeing was the fletchings. And it was just on the top of her back, you know, 
flopping around. If I'd have saw that, uh, I would have been pretty doubtful about finding her. But it just goes to show you, I hit her that high, just the angle was perfect. I got both lungs. She went 60 yards, got a dead deer. You know, thank the good Lord we were able to find her and get her drug out.